over the last uh, 10 years or more, we've seen a, a growing division between East and West. You've seen, uh, you know, the, the traditional Western uh, financial economic system versus the East versus the BRICS. And I think it's, I think the danger here is that the BRICS uh, use this opportunity to bring forth a new currency that's backed by gold. That will, that will destroy the Western financial system. On August 22nd, 2023, the most significant development in international finance since 1971 will be unveiled, reckons Jim Rickards in The Daily Reckoning. It involves the rollout of a major new currency that could weaken the role of the dollar in global payments and ultimately displace the U.S. dollar as the leading payment currency and reserve currency. It could happen in just a few years. Bill Holter, a renowned analyst and former manager on Wall Street, believes that there is a growing separation between the East and West, especially in terms of their financial systems. The Western system is different from the Eastern system, which includes countries like BRICS, Holter thinks that there is a risk that the BRICS countries might take advantage of this situation to create a new currency backed by gold. The BRICS countries reportedly have plans to support their new currency with valuable metals such as gold and rare earth metals. Holter believes this move could have significant implications, undermining the Western financial system and causing an increase in commodity prices. Consequently, the collapse of the dollar would result in higher inflation and a substantial increase in the price of gold leading to a rise in other commodity prices as well. This favorable trend in commodities would generally benefit the BRICS countries. Moreover, due to its connection to gold, the BRICS currency could potentially displace the dollar as the dominant payment currency at a faster pace than anticipated. During the interview with Liberty and Finance, Holter highlighted that the United States has been able to make other countries use the dollar because it was a powerful economic and military force. However, if the U.S. becomes weaker, other countries may stop using the dollar. This could have a number of negative consequences for the U.S. economy, including higher interest rates, increased inflation, and reduced economic growth. If that happens, the countries that currently hold a large amount of dollars will want to get rid of them. The U.S. Federal Reserve might have to buy those dollars because no one else would want them. We will now bring you clips from Bill Holter's interview with Liberty and Finance. But before we do, if you want more videos like this, then ensure you smash the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell for more videos. Thank you and enjoy the video. Day is coming where we're gonna wake up and it's gonna be a very, very different world and it'll be a different, a completely different uh, world order where the United States for so many years has been the top of the totem pole and I, I just think we're gonna, we will be dropped way down the totem pole and that is going to make the uh, standard of living for Americans, for Westerners in general, the standard of living is going to collapse because the currencies are going to collapse. And again, uh, currencies are based on confidence. And if the West takes a, an ass whipping, you know, publicly, what does that do to confidence? It's going to crack confidence and that's going to crack the currencies. I think uh, the supply chains, uh, Production, distribution, everything is going to be shaken up. So your life is going to completely change, uh, and your life is definitely going to com will definitely change when there's a financial event and you see uh, you see banks collapsing. I mean, think about it. It was just three or four months ago that the U.S. Treasury came out and they said we're going to we guarantee every de uh, bank deposit in the country. Well, my first question was, who's going to guarantee the Treasury? Because it's not like the Treasury's got all this money sitting in a vault that they're they're uh, you know going to pass out. The Treasury has to actually borrow money, and if there's no lenders, who's the lender? The lender of last resort, the Federal Reserve, and they will also be the buyer of last resort when these dollars come home to our shores. They will be the the, the only big buyer left. I mean that's pretty obvious that. Uh, the United States is, was the one that had the big stick and enforced the use of the dollar. And now if that stick, look, you know, if, it, if we look weak, then the enforcement of using the dollar is going to become less and less and the dollar is going to be used less and less. Um, the dollar is going to be all these countries that are holding on to dollars because they have to pay for various commodities or, or trade deals in dollars. 
once once there's an alternative for them that they can they can use yuan or rubles or their own currency all these dollars that they hold what are they going to do with them they're going to sell them and who's going to buy them the federal reserve is going to be the buyer of last resort for dollars and let me add dunnigan that if you're a student of history read about the the fall of the roman empire i mean it's very similar to what the us is and has been doing like you like you mentioned earlier we've got bases all over the world rome over expanded uh you know they were they were on a on a war footing um they started clipping their coins and i mean it's the same thing as what we're doing now is we're, we're monetizing so it's uh at this point all it is is an empty shell and uh, you know i don't know what the event's going to be to to illustrate that inside the shell is empty I mean again I'm not an insider I I don't know but what you can see from just public information it does not look like it's a tight alliance um and interestingly enough uh July 4th Iran is actually joining the BRICS that was announced earlier today or oh I'm sorry not the BRICS the SCO so that was that was announced uh that they've been accepted and it will be formal on July 4th and and just look at the list of countries that want to join with the BRICS. I mean it's a long list of, of countries and the west is the west is shrinking. The the amount of allies that the west that the United States can count on, the list is getting shorter and shorter. Holter believes that gold and silver cannot go bankrupt, which means that they are not subject to the same risks as fiat currencies. Fiat currencies are government issued currencies that are not backed by any physical assets. In contrast, Gold and silver are precious metals that have historically maintained their value and served as reliable stores of wealth during economic instability. The US dollar is currently the world's reserve currency, which means that it is the most widely used currency for international transactions. However, there is a growing movement around the world to reduce the use of the US dollar. If the world were to unite against the United States, it could significantly devalue the dollar. This would make it more expensive for Americans to buy imports and make it harder for US companies to export goods and services. It could also lead to inflation in the US as prices for goods and services would rise. In such a situation, Holter believes that people who have worked hard and followed prudent financial practices will wake up one day to find themselves destitute. Let's get back to the interview. If you saved in something that's worth nothing, that the true value of it is is zero. And even though your your state your bank statement says, you know, you've got a million or five million or whatever amount of, of money in your accounts, your brokers, your insurance companies, uh, and the dollar spends today, that doesn't that doesn't talk about what the dollar will be worth tomorrow. It doesn't talk about what the dollar will be worth when there basically is a. Uh, the, the world gangs up on the United States and that's that's where we're headed. You're going to wake up one morning, you worked your whole life, you did you did all the things you were told to do, uh you were prudent, you didn't take a whole bunch of debt, but when this event happens, you're going to wake up and you're going to be destitute. You're going to have whatever you have and that's all you're going to have. It's what I've been saying for years, get out of the system. I mean, don't have intermediaries between you and your capital and make sure your capital is is not in a position to bankrupt. And I mean that leaves you with gold and silver. Those are the only two monies on the planet that cannot bankrupt. And I would really just answer your question by where does that leave people? It leaves them with very little time to do what they need to do uh because if they don't, they will be destitute. To be honest with you, I don't believe that the average stockbroker even understands what the reality is. I I think they they for the most part believe what they're saying. Um, the reality is they've kicked the can so far down the road and directly ahead of us is a brick wall it's a brick wall of bankruptcy so uh you know this next dip i think is going to be the last dip i think we're going off a cliff the potential rollout of a new currency backed by gold could have a significant impact on the global financial system If the BRICS countries were to succeed in creating such a currency, it could undermine the dominance of the US dollar and lead to a rise in commodity prices. If the global financial system were to collapse, gold could become even more valuable as people sought to protect their wealth. This could lead to a significant increase in the price of gold, 
which would benefit those who own gold. Do you agree with Bill Holter's assessment that the dollar is in danger of collapse? Please share your thoughts and observations in the comments section below. If you found this video informative, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications to stay informed about our latest videos on silver, gold, and copper. Thank you for watching, and we appreciate your support.